Hey everyone, today we're going to be showing you how to install QFinder Pro on macOS. So QFinder Pro is the application you're going to need to identify your QNAP NAS, which is installed on your local network. So if you haven't set this up already, you can watch a previous video that I made where I set up the drives of a QNAP TS664. And once we've attached it to our network via Ethernet cable, then what we're going to need to do is to use this application to find out which IP address it has in order to do the setup and management of this. So in order to do this, you can follow the link in the description for this specific page, or you can go to the QNAP download section. I'll leave a link to this page in the description too. Just select your product. We want a NAS. We want six bays. Our model is the TS664. And then we want to download a utility. We want to download QFinder Pro for Mac. So this is the QFinder Pro, and we're going to click global to download this DMG file here. So now once that has fully downloaded, we're going to go to Finder, and then we're going to go to Downloads, and the file is downloading here. So once the file is downloaded, we're going to double click on the QNAP QFinder.DMG, and then we're going to go through the install process. So just double click on this, click Continue, Continue, and then Agree, and then Install. Type in your administrator password for your Mac, and this is going to go ahead and install onto our computer. Don't worry about background items added, just click off this. Once that's done, go ahead and press close. I'm going to keep this. So if we go to applications now and scroll down, we're going to find QFinder Pro here, double click, and then we're going to minimize this. So it's saying here, do we want to consent to user information collection? Press accept or reject. Then we're going to select our region. So we're going to select global here because we're outside of China, press OK. Here we can close the notification window here. And now QFinder Pro has opened and not only has it located our NAS, but it's also opened up this smart installation guide. So the server has not been initialized yet. Or if you want to go ahead and start the smart installation guide, you can press yes here or no. So anyway, with QNAP Finder Pro, you can go ahead and manage your NAS. Just double click and you'll be kind of logged into your NAS service here. So this is going to be necessary basically every time you want to access your NAS when it restarts because the router might give your QNAP a different IP address. I'm going to use the QNAP QFinder in order to find it. So if you want to find out more about how to set up QNAP Finder, then make sure to watch my next video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.